right back to left side. Right strike three, left strike two. So your face should not be trying to work behind you. If I block here, if I block here, the same thing. You see? You see the thing? I always come back to the center. You see it? To the center. So from here, I can block it and strike, come back to the center. Block it, strike, come back to the center. So that is the art of it. So this system is built like a wheel. From here, everything goes up. Okay? So your block, your big one, the thrust will be from the center too. We don't have the thrust yet. You're going to see the thrust, high, middle, low thrust. So while you are blocking here, the thrust will come up, the thrust will come. See, if you're blocking here, the thrust will come down. The thrust will be high thrust. Middle thrust, low thrust. You see? So uh, we don't have time for the thrusting. But I want you to get that. Make this two by two. And some of you are already moving to three by three. I'm happy that. So we can, I want to, I want to make sure that we, sh we should learn that three by three uh, today. Okay, let's, go, let's go over the rest of that. Start from the center, will you please? Go ahead. Okay, you see the point there? Does that make it simple? <laughs> yeah. so you have three, no, all the blocks, 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 all the 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 So you see the, the simplicity of the movement. Once you get that X, once you get the simplicity of the movement, you can you can count it here. You see, media comes from this. So get that block. The strike was kind of simple thing. Strike is just right. You see, right. Right side too. You see the rolling, you see the rolling of the stick, a heavy stick, and it comes down with that, with that hit. Okay, try to get that rhythm of movement. Let's go. Let's Would you do that also for Minda? Oh, yes. Minda is too heavy. I mean, but... Uh, yeah. Talking to the ladies. Yep. Put it on the internet. From the center, I can block, I can cross, I can strike from the center. From this line, you see, I can strike. You see that? From this line, I can strike here. From this line, I can thrust here. From this line, I can block here. You see the thing? So that's the key to the movement, is that when you do fight, do not stand that close. You guys are standing this close, you just from here. Later on, the sword will be in your hand. The system of Mando is, is uh, not a very sophisticated system. It's based on the wheel system, three by three. Okay. And uh, their money systems are like the Ishinu system is to me is like a Cadillac. So Kali system is like a Ferrari. Salat system like a Porsche. But the system I teach is a dump truck system. So you really have to practice over and over again. This is because a guy from the the difference between a Ferrari and a dump truck, you understand that? So the reason for it, it has to be a hardy hit. So therefore, when you look at it, it is basically this. 
is that when you are watching your opponent, you are you are in this position. You are, because the sticks are quite heavy. We are, using, we are going to be using in a real competition a stick like that. And I have some videos sent down. You see the guys are fighting with sticks slightly in the huge wrong, and they will fight. They have to get out of the way or else they're going to get something broken. You see? And so they can't be, they're close. as soon as they get in close, they go into a, a grappling tournament, like a grappling where they're being choking. I'll show you today, maybe after lunch, I'll show you how to do uh, stick chokes and so on. If you want, I'll show you some parts of it. So this is called a long range, medium range, and close, close range fight. Huh? So the sticks are like that, fairly heavy. And therefore, you really have to have, if you say, I want to go to grappling, grappling is very, very tough. It's that very tough because grappling, you have to be in good shape. The muscles got to be flexible. You got to have good endurance. Yeah? You got to have a heart of a lion to grab. Yeah? And uh, so any form of system of fighting. So when we used to study Asian room, if there are a thousand people, let's say seven hundred people, they will lead them out. Maybe five, six hundred will lead. They couldn't handle it. Only a few handful of people are left there. You see? And that's the same thing. The system of Kendo, Aido, all the systems is very selective. Very extremely selective. All right, let's, so I want you to stand. Before you start out, what you do here is that this is the movement. You see? You see, this is 95. Right? Let's go. You just want, I just want you to repeat that, repeat the, repeat the set one several times, back and forth, back and forth. Come in like this, and then you salute like that, and you step back. Step back with your right foot. Left foot. Step back with your left foot. Sorry.
He said, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm doing all the wrong things. <laughs> all right, good. Now let's all stand up. Like this. Like this. Like this. To the heart. My heart. This means to the spirit. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. I put all remember I mentioned about the daddy yesterday. Every cross we make can be followed with a slash. Every slash can be followed with a cross. You see? So therefore when you do a night fighting, you can do slash slash. You can do a cross cross. You can do a slash cross slash. A combination can confuse your opponent. Understand? In the same manner, so most of the defensive system, as I told you yesterday in the pictures, the real fight, in the real fight, opponents don't understand the body. That's the last thing you want to do because they have too much defenses, too many hands in front of them. The area that you cross is your eyeball. I'll show you a picture of a guy get thrust in the eyeball. So to be able to deflect, see, a uh, blow to the eyes is very difficult. Okay. Very difficult. You have a practice over and over again because the blade is so small, it's coming towards your eye, you can't see it, like a baseball coming at you. Small piece. Unless you learn how to dodge, how to step out, how to spin out, or else you can, you can get hurt. Now what I like to do is that uh, after every block, Mistake here. Remember that we have strike. After every block, we can follow the strike. After every block, we can follow also the trap or the hole. So after every block, we can follow with another block. Understand? So after every block we make, we can should be able to follow another block. After every block we make, we should be able to follow with the strike. After every block we make, we should be able to follow with the hole. Got that? So a, a strike is not only a strike. A strike is a continuing of a series of other movements. A strike can lead to a hole. A hole can lead to a block. A block can lead to a, a strike, a strike, a hole, and so on. You got that? All right, so this is the, the chain of event, like a wheel. You come from the center, and then you can spin out from the center. Okay. Let me go back very quickly on that movement, on the three, three basic movement, and then you will move And here, from this stage, remember, from the center, this is right the center, the gut is the center. I can go up, I can go down. From the center, I can roll out, this is a one. This is a one, right? This is a right one, this is a left one. This is a right left two, this is a left two. This is a right three, this is a left three. So we have that move. Basic steady of the zone, called the zone strike. Then later on, once the zones are struck, and like a boxer, see, like a football game, they hit the zone first and slowly they begin to a little more precise, huh? Eh? In the same manner, you got to learn the zone first. If you are a basketball player, hockey player, football player, you understand what I'm talking about. And then later on, then we can become a refined arts. And then, from that, then we can do the zone from the center, the block high, the block high, block to the side, block to the side, from the center, block low, from the center, block low. You see the so everything starting from the center. You see there's the movement. So therefore, and the center here is so that I can ready to thrust it in later on. In the same manner, from the center as I block, I should be able to move into a hole. So next week, yeah. Thank you. So the next day we are going to be he's striking with the RS1. Okay, everything is here. RS1. RS1 is what? Right side one. Right strike one. 
When you have RS1, I do the what kind of block? LB1, left side block, left side block. Now there are three basic positions you can do for holding. And some people like to continue to strike. Some people like to, I want to stop this long I want to hold it with my hold. Now, this is the choice you have. We'll do a strike one. We'll strike one and we'll strike one. So that, so that's the choice I have. From a block, we're going to strike. Now, from a block, I'm going to go to a hold. From a block, yeah, I can go to a hold. So my head back was boom, head back. And so what happens is it goes to a hole. So instead of a strike, I go to a hole. The reason for a hole is because he is coming with my zone. So what will happen, I can hold it here or I can hold it here. Depends on the level of the penetration how deeply you step. So let's say I'm trying to block, let's say try to block here. Block here, you see, right now he is open, so I can strike him with the, with the tip here. With the tip here. With a full row. See? Or I can trap him with this, with this thing. Now another type is trap, so you can trap, you can strike here, and you can strike here, you can strike here. And you can trap here, or sometimes you try to strike, but you miss it. So you see, it will come into a spot. So immediate move, so immediate choke. <laughs> so, so, so a person will pass out in three seconds. We have only a given three seconds of guy to pass out. Okay? So do a slow motion on that. So you guys have been working on it. Okay? Now, some of you just eat, eat that food. So you guys will be cussing gags. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of saying, hey, 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 so you have a different song, a different direction. You hear that? We go to a slow motion. Okay, we go to a slow motion. This is the distancing of fight. Okay, he's so in this line, as soon as he comes in, I go. So I can strike here to the throat with the full butt. Or if I miss it, then I can trap him right down to this. Not, you see, this, this thing, watch it, this thing will come like that. As soon as it's come, watch my hands. You see, pull down here and walk. You do this line. This line, and then I'll just head back in and just roll it up. And of course, that this lock is a terrible lock. And then you can make a trip him and fall down on him. The guy will pass up. See, the headbutt is a critical issue. As soon as you come in, hit that. Pow! As soon as you headbutt it, you don't know to know. Not lip to lip. The headbutt gets rid of the nose. The concept is that the theory states basically three. If you can't see, you can't fight. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. If you can't move, you can't fight. Bridget the nose is what? You can't see either. The bridges of the nose does both. You can't see and you can't breathe. And it takes you several seconds for you to recover. So when you go in for a grab, if you do not go in for a grab, we enter with a strike or a headbutt. Why is that necessary? Mm -hmm. it your See, you want to soften the rib up. Because the opponent is too much energy coming in. You guys forgot what well, I state. Okay, during a fight, it is extremely difficult to strike a desired part. Because the opponent is moving, maneuvering for better position of attack or defense. 
So the trap is to do what? So you can't move anymore, right? You can't jump around anymore. You want to bring into your zone. Second opponent is a state of emotion, excitement. You want to calm down his excitement by doing what? You don't calm him down, you just... Knock him out. Huh? Knock him out. You just achieve a level of panic. Terror. Choke is one of the most terrifying experiences you ever had. The opponent will resist the of the attack. So therefore, a headbutt and a choke, you, you try to overcome all three of them. Now, what I didn't show you was I, I shoot a knee in there too. You do a headbutt, a knee, and a choke all three together. You don't choke by itself. Because the opponent is just too strong, you understand? Opponent will resist. So your job is as soon as you block, you come in, you grab it, you, as soon as you choke, you headbutt the knee and you fall around the top of the opponent. Because the opponent meant business. He's trying to hurt you, your job is to try to push you off with your top. You may not feel it, but it's dangerous. This is not a killing blow. But if you continue to choke on it, then you might kill it. So you will pass out in three seconds. So this is very soft. Now, what will that happen if I choke him on the face stick like that? Not only that, it will, what will happen is jaw, his neck, and his heart. Now, can you remember what I just did? Can you execute that? Can you execute it? This is I go one more slow motion. Keep this in mind. So we will be not leaving this thing. I want you to use the other thing. So this is the wood ones? Yes. So we go lightly. We will go lightly so that you can feel the, the pressure on it. Let's do the other one. Watch this move. This is very, uh, I better scale this up. 
See, this move is called the single, single, as soon as, as soon as I hit that, this whole blow is hitting the back of the neck. So to stun it. So right now we're not hitting the back of the neck. You see that? You hit that and you'll feel all kinds of uh, shivers coming through the spine. It's a full blow to the back of the neck. You know that? Now watch his hand. As soon as I do this hand, I lock it right there. You see? And then I drop down, just sit down, just shoot both my legs out and drop it right on the tip of the thing. Pop! Okay? So that is a very dangerous move. So I want you to be very careful. Okay? This is, there are three hits that involve. Every time we do a lock, there are three hits. Okay? I will, see, most of you guys may not want to look at the hits, they want to look at just a choke. Huh? This is called a full pull. This is called, some people call it a full roll. And the roll is, you go back again, so as soon as the blow is struck, you see, the full roll is there, you see, this is the full roll. Oh, under your arm, it's not the front of your pee -pee. There you go, good. So you can play with your pee, -pee later on. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Let's shoot it. It's <laughs> not here, okay? <laughs> Uh, let's go. It's okay, babe. You can play with mine. It's all right. Three steps 
three hanger movement, right? Three body movements. You guys are doing two, two, two. All right, let's try that. This, I hope you guys are going to The strikes could be in this manner. As soon as the strike is delivered, you block it. You see, from here, as soon as I step out, because I want to get away from his left hand, now I can duck here and hit his leg here. Full blow. Or I can hit here. You see the thing? I have a choice.